Iria Jafar wants to build a career in the tech space. She has joined this training session in Accra to develop her skills in information technology. I just love computer-related stuff. And today we learned about coding, using some code and language to um, program a software. Across the world, women hold only 26% of computing jobs. In Ghana, the figure is even lower. Women are engaged in 18% of tech-related jobs, according to industry experts. And it's largely because science and technology career fields are often seen as the preserve of men. A lot of the females don't have people to look up to. It's difficult to find someone to say, this is someone who is in tech, this is someone I look up to, this is someone I want to be like, right? And so I feel we get, have to get to a point where we create role models for in upcoming um, children or children who are now like growing very early on. Zulai Hadobia Abdallah founded the social enterprise developer six years ago to empower women and young girls in information technology. She hopes to bridge the gender gap in tech by training one million young girls and women by 2030. If you look at how the world is moving now, you do realize that there's always a new innovation that comes up. I mean, with the new dawn of blockchain, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and etc., you can see that a lot of things are moving from manual processes to a more digital process. And so it's very important that we, as part of um, the youth in Africa, try to expand and then learn some of these technologies so that we can add it to problem solving in our various communities. Facilitators believe that it is crucial to start early with young girls. For me, uh, the training was fun and what I learned was like programming things using like JavaScript, Python, uh, those kind of languages. Ghana is mainstreaming ICT and coding into the national education curriculum to get more girls to be interested in technology fields. Industry experts want more funding to go into the sector especially targeting social enterprises trying to train girls in science and technology. These young women believe the skills they are learning here could be the key to a future in high-paying, flexible tech jobs, from software engineering to cybersecurity and app development. After this initial training, Haria Jafar and the other young women here can sign up for a three-month boot camp to continue developing their skills and careers. Nabil Ahmed Rufai. CGTN, Accra, Ghana.